All right, we're back, and guys, it is happening. It is happening as we speak. Uh, what are we at? May 20th, and it's about what? I have no idea what time it is. Oh, my God. It's about 2025, 825 p.m. Eastern time. So we military time is 2025. And look over here on this wonderful green yumminess. I put out a little stream earlier where uh, Bitcoin did touch 70 schmackaroos. I was it was it's been consolidating for so long. If you look back over over the week, two weeks, three weeks, um, it's just been consolidating. Money's been in, in flowing into the inflowing. Is that a word into these ETFs? Uh, people buying Bitcoin, people holding Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, man. And uh, I just knew I just I'm just going, man, this has got to go up. I, I'm betting on it going up. I'm not going to be one of these wimpy cuck YouTubers going, it could go up. <laughs> it could go down. It could go sideways. or could do nothing at all. No Bitcoin, Ben. I'm, <laughs> I'm picking on you. And some of these other Bitcoin guys, dude, it's just going to go up. And that's what I called it. I called it. Look at my video last week. It's going up. I got skin in the game. I got um, money in and all the derivatives of Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin. Have the ETF uh, for the various pros and cons of that. Don't give me crap about that. Uh, various pros and cons, and uh, it's about eighty twenty pro to do it that way. Uh, I have some miners, Bitcoin miners. Took a hit on that because the earnings weren't as good as I'd hoped. Yeah, missed call, but the thing's coming back strong. Not worried about that. Even though the analysts are trying to kick it down, I have hope that's going to come back. I was up fifteen percent on that. I should have took my double, meaning my double hit double run take some of that money put it in my pocket instead of waiting for the stupid home run sometimes when you hold for that home run you strike out man take those doubles you get you get uh eight to 12 15 percent take that hit right there and dump it and rinse and repeat and then if you're doing it in your roth account your ira boom don't worry about the stupid capital gains transaction because you're in your roth and your ira uh, that's a win right there, man. That is a win. You don't get to touch your money right away, but geez, you're still building your wealth tax-free, keeping it from the government. Government's going to just take all your money and send it overseas to some god-awful country they're going to send your kids to to die. Yeah. Think about that for a while. While our country crumbles, they're sending all your tax money over to these godforsaken countries or criminals, taking our money, giving it to more criminals. It's disgusting. And I don't care what side of the aisle or what ideology. It's just the facts. The facts are what they are. Just look how this country's crumbling. So if you can trade in your Roth, play the game, and uh, defer all that tax crap, and uh, you defer not pay it because you're in a Roth, uh, do it. That's my advice. Play the game, and it's all legit. So there, until they don't make it legit anymore, and they're trying. They want that Roth money. Oh, you can see them. Oh, uh, Congress, we got to get that money. Oh, we got to get your money. They're trying. But anyway, we're uh, back in the game. Here, enough of that. No, that crap. Sometimes I get all worked up. I get all sweaty. My little heart pulsates. But I get angry. You get a guy to get angry, man, because we there's some criminals out there. The politicians become criminals, and criminals are politicians. It's just whatever. It's just come on, prove me wrong. But they're good people. No, they're not. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's me. Stop it. Wake up. All right. So now, as of now, after my awesome video earlier where I said we hit seventy. And the previous week where I said we're going to go higher, we we're consolidating and we're going to, once we get above 70, it's going to go up. Blammo, guys. I must be touched by an angel or I don't know what I am <laughs> or I sit in hell with a rock. Uh, we hit 70, came back down. The candle came back down. Now, blammo, guys. Look at that. We are up to 71,503. Blam. I love green. I love when things are good. Now we let it ride. We let it ride through June. Uh, getting into July and August, we got to be careful. It's going to keep going up. Uh, you got to look at the psychology of taking profits. Don't hold the bag when this thing starts smashing down to to, to a correction phase, 50, 60% down uh, with the other equity markets. Uh, we got to watch out for that. Uh, I think we're going to get up through August once the uh, Fed, those little creepy guys in the Fed, have their little special wink, wink meeting in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where they ruined a beautiful area with their filthy stench of billionaires. Um, they have their meeting after they open their little peepholes and politicize everything or whatever they're going to do. They're going to ruin it. And it, I think the market's going to start tanking after mid-August and uh, or it's going to just set the stage for it to start 
dropping like a knife. And this is one of these knives you don't want to try to catch. You never want to catch a falling knife. Sometimes you want to get out before that knife gets dropped. Sometimes being in cash is not a bad thing. Uh, trying to get that extra percentage point may cost you a lot of money. So you really got to keep an eye on this crap. And uh, if it's going to go, keep an eye also on the treasuries. I always already mentioned the ones I'm watching. TLTW is one I'm watching. You get a nice 18% dividend on it as well. So that should go up. Metals may still keep going up in a recession. But if this thing hits hard and it's going to crash like a house of cards, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be saved. I don't know if Bitcoin's going to be able to ride it out. Uh, it seems to be really coupled now to the equities, which and the uh, stupid interest rate crap and the Fed. I don't know why. Maybe because the ETFs. But that's just it seems, it seems to be my biggest disappointment in Bitcoin is coupled with the freaking U.S. stock exchange and what's going on there. I don't like that. And the uh, dollar, uh, what do you call it? Monetary policy, bull crap like that, and interest rates. Why does that affect Bitcoin? It, that makes no sense to me. And that's my biggest red flag with Bitcoin is that. I thought it was supposed to be decoupled, decentralized, but eh, you're kind of mirroring crap left and right. But you can use that leading indicator for Bitcoin to your advantage. Uh, ETF will kind of follow suit behind the Bitcoin spike. So now you know tomorrow morning the ETFs are going to open up higher. So you can play that. Uh, might open too high for you and pull back, but you got to just maybe plan your strategy. Uh, it's usually better when the market's open. Again, that's the negative of buying these damn equities is you have to wait for the markets to be open. Yeah. Uh, Bitcoin is great in that aspect. If you know how to trade it and you can do it any time of the day, like today, if you would have bought it, boom, blammo, you made a couple bucks, dump it, come back in, rinse and repeat. Because with the volatility, you can make a lot of money. The ups and downs, you just got to know the indicators, when to buy, when to sell. And most times you will lose. Yeah, go figure. So we're at 71,493. Uh, other things that have done well today. Oh my God, where is it? Oh, a little oil's down. Index fund is up, S&P. That's doing really good. I am holding that. I dump most of my other drips. Starbucks, all these ones, because they're starting to tank, man. Like I said in my other videos, McDonald's. No one's buying McDonald's anymore. It's too expensive. Uh, California helped ruin that because they, now you have to pay 20 bucks an hour to labor. And that's... These idiots in the government are so idiotic. They're almost... You can't even... I don't know. It's idiocracy. They're not dumb. They're not stupid. They're just idiots. Because... Uh, God, if you raise the wages, guess what's going to happen? Prices are going to go up. Guess what else is going to happen? Owners are going to cut staff. So you're going to have less people working here, more robots, more machinery, more menu uh, kiosks, stuff like that. The government's so stupid. Now you got more people on the dole. Uh, it's, they just don't get it. These people in government are, I just really think they're idiots. I don't know if it's malicious or they're being told to do this by like some of the uh, global, global creepoids, but, uh, I don't know. It just seems like they're idiots. Like in uh, Sacramento, are they just idiots? I, I Newsom's like a, he's like, reminds me of Joel Olstein's cousin. The one that didn't quite make it as successful as Joel Olstein, the blinky guy that has his mega church in Houston, who doesn't really want to help people during a Houston flood. Remember that? They, they were going to let him in the church and he's like, oh my God, my carpeting. It's like, eh, okay, there's your true colors right there. But Newsom is like Joel Olstein. Looks, it could be just like his, Evil twin brother, you know, whereas Joel's not the greatest guy either. He's kind of, you know, a grifter, grifting off the Jesus. And you can't be doing that. That's not, in the end, you're going to regret doing that. Um, and now we got Newsom, same thing. There's just, there's just freaking evangelist, uh, fake evangelist preachers like that. That's what he reminds me of. Is he an idiot or is he just grifting or he didn't give a crap? They may be soulless, spineless people, but they definitely don't know anything about the economy. And uh, yeah, you got McDonald's tanking, you got Starbucks tanking. People aren't buying their cafe au lait, their cafe latte, their ice, ice macchino, mocha fraco duca lecu, uh, coke, cafe mocha. Uh, just give me some raw sugar and inj inject it into my arteries. And that's basically what Starbucks is. <laughs> People aren't eating anymore. Because I know you drank a cup of that coffee, you have to run, run to the nearest bathroom. And, you know, it's like a diuretic. It just purged you out. <laughs> and you're like, I'm ready for another one. Yeah. 
Uh, McDonald's not, I don't, I can't imagine eating at McDonald's. Knowing what's in the French fries, how they do it, the pesticides and the potatoes from Idaho that have contracts with McDonald's, read about it. You will never eat another McDonald's French fry again. Uh, knowing what they do to the potato, holy, it's disgusting. It is really not good. Uh, it's almost like, what is this saying? Now you've seen how the sausage is made and you never want to eat sausage ever again. It's the same thing with fast food. Uh, yeah, Wendy's is all right, but again, probably the same problem there. Everything's going up. So I dumped all my drips there. That was the whole point of that, that rant. I love ranting, man. It comes, this should be called the rant channel. Rant, rant. Oh my God. Um, yeah, so I dumped all that. What else is doing well? Copper mine is up. Copper miners, FCX. There's the ETF for Bitcoin. FBTC. What is it? <laughs> oh my God. Firefox, Bravo, Tango, Charlie. Yeah. And then, uh, ooh, Enterprise. And these two are energy transfer partners. Companies. I think energy may be topping out shortly. Exxon not up. Eh, eh, Exxon down a buck almost. I got to get out of these once I uh, get to a certain level. Oh boy, they pay a dividend, which is fine, but I don't care. I just want to get some of these out, get out of the, get the cash on these and uh, not worry about them tanking once the big correction happens or the big, uh, what do you call it? Depression. Uh, TRMD, that's a shipping. <clears throat> yeah, big daddies. Oh my God. What else? What else I going to show you? Wolf is the miner. That's doing well. Came back. Look at that. Spike back up from after earnings here. God damn earnings. You know, ha ha. You gotta use um, use this trading view, folks. Wolfie, let's go to Wolfie. I'm gonna see if it shows up. I got a stupid ad right here. It does suck your CPU. Trading view will show you on the calendar. Oh, get out of here! I'm not. I'm not gonna buy it yet. I buy it, but not now. On the calendar, it will show you when the earnings will come out. So here it came out the 13th. Blammo, upset people, upset the the uh, anal list. Um, and uh, yeah, it caused it to kind of go down a bit, but now it's come back. And there's some news here. Six days ago. Why is it six days ago? Wait a minute. Hold on, big daddies. Let's click on it. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? All right. Doesn't have, I don't know. Oh, Bitcoin miner terror falls after, oh, that's, that's six days ago. Why is that even there? That makes no sense. All right, so yeah, use TradingView to tell you when the earnings are gonna come out. And if you don't feel it's a warm fuzzy, like Tesla earnings are gonna come out eventually, uh, I would not own it. I dumped it. I dumped it for a loss because that it's over. EVs are done. People have had it. It's ridiculous. Uh, the early adopters like me had theirs. I dumped my Model S. I have a truck now. There you go. If that doesn't tell you all you need to know, Mr. Techie Boy here dumps his little Jetson car for a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. <laughs> go figure. Uh, yeah, what does that say? Um, I just practical. All right, let's go back here. What else was good? I mentioned two other things earlier today. Uh, copper mine up. God, this stupid app. Apple, I hate your apps. All right. Uh, we got Hecla is up and it's up four cents after hours. Look at this thing going up. Silver is going up. So silver miners are going up as well. Here's two as well to look at. Uranium up 56. I do not own this. I own Misty, which is an options yield max for um, MicroStrategy's sailor guy. I forgot his first name. Michael Saylor. Um, I always, Michael Saylor is a master, yeah, MicroStrategy. And they, they don't own the stock. I told you this before in the other video. You buy these Con, Connie and Misty. You're not actually owning Coinbase. You're not actually owning MicroStrategy. You're owning like their algorithm for options against them. Stuff like that. Same with Crash. This is the thing against Tesla. Uh, options in that to maximize profits. You're not owning or shorting any of these talks. It's some algorithm they're doing with options. So it's high risk, super high risk, but it's very interesting to me. You know, sometimes it's, I don't gamble at casinos. I gamble right here. And uh, that's the truth. This is pure gambling. Uh, that's all I got. Short video, <laughs> short 14 minute video. Uh, look at, let's go one more time, big daddies. Let's get this Bitcoin, do, do the old Apple app. 71,299. Big daddy, make me feel good about that. Let's close this out. Let's go over to Bitcoin here. Bum, 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 bum. Little, little bell, little pullback. 
And it did this earlier, it hit 70. I think people have their orders, sell orders in. So when it hit 70, it pulled back a bit. Look, it pulled back to 68, 892. Look at that low candle right there. Ricky Candles. I just, oh, these guys I watched years ago on those stupid crypto shows. Drove me nuts. Um, anyway, we go over here and we and then we kind of came back up to 71.5 or so. Seven, eh, yeah, 71.5 ish. Oh, we had a spike up here. Oh my God, seven, almost 72. That's a nice jump. A little pullback. I bet people's trigger sell orders got, got uh, triggered. Is that a word? Triggered, set off, whatever. And now people making some profits here, maybe. Uh, yeah, and it's after hours. We're talking eight o'clock at night, and uh, it's bleh, midnight uh, GMT time. So yeah, eight, eight-ish, nine-ish o'clock Eastern time. All this crap is happening after the bell. Yeah, I just hate the stock exchange so much. I just the fact that you can only buy this crap during trading hours. But when Bitcoin comes along, hold my hold my beer, you know, and you can just trade this crap any time of day. Uh, yeah, but you can lose all your money too. So, so there you go. A little update. I'm feeling good about the Bitcoin. I'm glad I made the call again, only entertainment only. If you listen to me, uh, yeah, you would have said, Oh, he kind of made a good call there. Uh, I do have skin in the game. I don't have pennies in this game. I got, I got a chunk, a, a, a reasonable chunk of change in this game. Um, and if this goes the way I want it to go, it's going to be life changing. Uh, Profits, I hope. That's the game. That's the name of the game. Uh, tired of this. I like it in the doubles and all. I'm building up a snowball, but some of this other crypto, I need to. I, I'm just counting on it. Have the faith that it's going to go. It's going to hit 100k, and then that's going to be a really good feeling uh, to take the profits then, and then sit back in cash, and then uh, reevaluate what do I what do I want to do? Go in the treasuries, stick in a money market. Uh, of course, be retired. That'd be nice, and uh, don't worry about working. That's always a good problem. Uh, financial independence. We can do another video on that, man. Just don't buy crap you don't need. Sure, you may want it, but do you really need it? Here's a pro tip. If you're buying crap on Amazon, first, don't have Prime. You'll get free shipping anyway after over 35 bucks or something like that. No need to waste your money to the Bezos mini me guy by spending on Prime. Even Prime TV now, they put ads in the stuff you used to get for free. It's bull crap. But if you use Brave Browser, you don't get them. So. Use Brave and you're welcome. I'm trying to save you guys pennies, which add up to dollars over months, add up to reasonable, you know, decent amount of money that you don't have to work to make. Thousands of bucks you could save. Yeah, so yeah, just don't buy crap. You know, here's the trick with Amazon. Put stuff in your cart. Oh, I need to go buy this shiny little thing. Do me a favor, go put it in your cart, but don't buy it yet. Just stick it in your cart. Now walk away for a day and then come back and say, do I really need that crap? Or just maybe say once a week, you know, maybe I'll buy stuff. And during that week, you throw stuff in the Amazon cart. You start throwing crap in it. Then that week comes around. Next Saturday rolls around. Most times you forget you had the cart. Or if you do go look, you're saying, I don't need that. I don't need that. That's 30 bucks. Screw that. And you start, then you realize you don't buy any of the crap. You just, re it's all an impulse buy, a dopamine hit. Uh, Amazon is gamified to make you want to buy crap. They make one click purchasing. It's all gamified for that short hit. And then you get the box delivered. You totally forgot you ordered it. And then you're sitting there, what the hell did I buy this for? <laughs> and then it just sits on your desk and you never use it. Whatever you bought. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the food. You eat it. If you get something from their little store thing, like peanut butter or something. But yeah, man, that's a good little strategy to live by. People want stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Give me now. My, 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 my. Me, me, me. It's like, no, just take your time and you'll save money. And uh, yeah, you don't really need it you may want it but you do not really need it and that's a good lesson i teach uh teach people i know that most people don't listen uh yeah all right that's all i got i'll see you on the next video time for another video and maybe it'll be well if you don't ever hear from me again that means uh bitcoin hit 100k and I'm off. To, I'm off. I took off. I'm living in the mountains somewhere in a, in a cabin, you know, just enjoying my freedom and my financial independence. <laughs> and that's the trick you guys need to learn. Any financial people on YouTube, I'm being totally honest. If they were really successful and they had money, they would not be making YouTube videos. They are doing the grift. 
They don't have the money. They're broke. They're either selling courses. They're selling hopium. They're not giving you the real poop. Uh, it's just all BS. Because again, all I know is myself, and I'm Mr. Joe Average. I'm I'm Mr. Common Average Dude on Earth. I'm nothing special. Nothing. I'm not a horrible person. Not a great person. I'm just here. I'm just one of the many cogs, and I try to get through the day. And knowing me, I look at who I am. I go, if I had that money that they say they have, or they they have these systems where you can get rich, I would not be on YouTube making freaking videos. I'd be, hey, I'm financially independent. Why am I wasting my time with that crap? So go put that in your little nugget as you're watching people trying to sell you crap, courses, and stuff like that. And it's just all oh, bull crap. There's one, this, this ninja dude, whatever he's called. It's like he just is a hard sell on crypto courses. I'm like, dude, man, lighten up on that push. But it works on the weak minded. It's like the Jedi mind trick. A lot of useful idiots out there will go and spend 300 bucks on a stupid course on information. You can just type into Google or use Google Chat GPT. You get the same information for free. But people just want to be told what to think, told what to buy. And uh, that's a problem for them, not for me. And make yourself rise above that. Just look at people going, wait, you're on YouTube and you're pushing courses? Well, if your courses worked, why are you on YouTube? <laughs> it's a catch-22, man. If you're actually successful and these courses work, why are you pushing crap on YouTube? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, my God. All right, on that note, too much wisdom for you. I don't want people's heads to burst with all this incredible wisdom. Uh, take it. Go take a nap. I probably overwhelmed you. And then digest what I told you. And you'll say, that makes perfect sense. And you'll say, yes. Now, wax on, wax off with your crypto and your metal miners, and we talk to you later. Awesome. Bye.